Now this is meant as a follow-up to my uh, setup video for the four-way SLI here and I just wanted to address some of the naysayers in my comments who are telling me Oh no, 1500 watts is not nearly enough for four-way SLI. Every card consumes 400 watts or something along those lines to which I say Phew, Not true. Um, actually this power supply, the Strider 1500 watt is more than adequate to power this system and uh, to demonstrate that I will just show you rather than tell you about it. So first of all, why don't we have a look at our GPU idle temperatures, which you can see are in the uh, 60, 60 degree or so range, and the system actually isn't even that loud right now. Now I don't have the video cards overclocked or anything crazy like that at the moment. However, you know, that's something that I may play around with in the future. I also had a couple people ask me to download the latest driver, which I have done. And so you can see that the only outputs that I can use are these ones and these ones. So card one and card three. I don't know if 3D Vision Surround is available yet. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's not till the next driver release. But you, uh, you will be able to run 3D Vision Surround with three monitors hooked up to the two cards in the future. So I'm running maximum 3D performance and I am not dedicating any particular GPU to the physics. In fact, why don't we just set the CPU to, oh, whatever, forget it, okay? We'll just leave it how it was, cancel. Anyway, so let's run 3D Mark Vantage and have a look at just how much power consumption we're going to be looking at with a system like this. I should also mention the CPU is overclocked to 4 gigahertz. So the, uh, they well, the video cards are going to be as not bottlenecked as is possible with a rig like this. It is still on the loading screen. Actually, this might take a little while because uh, 3D Mark Vantage takes forever to load, but we're consuming about 700 watts at the wall right now. Now, here's something I should explain. When you're consuming 700 watts at the wall, that does not mean you need a 700 watt power supply. That means a 700 watt power supply would be kind of borderline, but it would definitely work because power supplies are rated for how much DC wattage they can output, whereas this measurement is how much AC wattage is going in. So a power supply that's rated for 1000 watts DC at uh, 80 plus, so let's say it's 80% efficiency, would actually be able to supply a system that's drawing up to about uh, 1150, 1200 watts from the wall. So this is only about a 500 watt power supply that could be running. Oh, there we go, 3D kicked in. We're over a thousand watts now. So that means that actually we could run this system like like borderline, borderline run this system on probably an 850, 900 watt power supply. Now I've actually seen it, I've run this benchmark already and I've seen it peak up to 1100 watts, but this should pretty much address everyone who's telling me that the 1500 watt power supply is not enough because the 1500 watt power supply is probably actually operating at peak efficiency right now. With a system that draws about 800 watts, 1500 watt power supply is looking at about 60% load. So thank you for checking out my video today on the power consumption and heat of four-way SLI. In fact, wait, wait, there's more. Uh, don't go away yet because let's have a look at uh, what the load temps are gonna be on these video cards when we're actually running a 3D application. So this isn't going to be quite a worst case scenario because the air is quite cool here and we've only been running the game for a little while so it would probably take another uh, five minutes or so to actually get a proper load temperature but it'll be pretty close. Uh, what do we got here? Wow! So they go up to, actually these were still rising so it's very hard to say what they'd peak at but maybe I'll do a separate video on that. But it looks like they went up as high as 85 degrees on my top GPU and that's the hottest one by a long shot. Uh, well by one degree anyway. So there, thanks for checking out my video on the 4-way SLI rig.